In this video, I'm visiting some of the best anime stores in New York City while attempting to complete a set of challenges from each store. These challenges include finding a Pokemon or anime booster pack, finding a Pokemon or anime mystery box, and also taking a photo with an anime statue, if I can find one. I will also provide a rating of each store that I visit based on the variety of anime-related products and the overall presentation of the store. Now, let's go ahead and check out the first location. Now we're here at our very first stop on this trip. So we have Akiba House, which is short for Akihabara House. If you guys know anything about Akihabara, it's literally Anime Central in Japan. So this is like a little mini version of it in New York. Let's see what we can find. So for this part of the video, Akiba House were nice enough to provide $100 worth of credit. So thank you to everyone at Akiba House for being kind enough to provide this opportunity. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, now we're here at the back of the store of Akiba House. We're gonna check out what they have on their shelves. So starting out, we have some Haikyuu. There's a big movie going on in Japan right now. I'm more attracted to this side though. Here we have Chainsaw Man. I'm a big fan of Pochita, so I'm gonna pick up one of these keychains. Let's see the cost too. It's $17.90. So deducting that from our $100 worth of credit. Thank you, Akiba House, so much for that. They're providing that today. And let's go to the back here. We have some Bleach characters. Good old Ichigo is right here. And then on this side, we have Oshinoko. You guys know Ai is a big character from that. And also back here, I love this one piece section. Very nice, we have a nice assortment of plushies if you guys wanna take a look here. We have some nice essentials here, files, little bag. And then we have also really cool uh, statues here. But the thing I wanna get today is this little Zoro plushie, my, my favorite character from One Piece. And this is about $22.90, so we're going to deduct that from our $100 credit as well. So naturally, as a Pokemon fan, I made my way to the back of the store, and look what I found, a lovely Pokemon section. There's a lot of plushies, there's figures, and also the blind boxes that I was looking for. That is one of the challenges of this video. So I'm going to pick up one of these. Gemstone collections, you know, throwing it back to good old Crystal. <laughs> I do like this because I want to chase the Dragonite. I'm sorry, Dragonair. I'm a big fan of Dragonair, by the way. I had one in Crystal version. I never evolved it. I wanted to keep it as Dragonair. And that's going to be $13.90. Not too bad. So hopefully we get my chase. And also, too, there's a wide variety of plushies. Actually, some are from Korea, some are from China. And I think it's a really nice assortment. There's even this little bag, this little Gengar bag. I've been wanting to get this as well. You know, because Jay also loves Gengar as well. So I'm going to pick this up. This is $15.90. So we're making our way through our $100 budget. But not just that. If you look on the shelf here, there's a ton, ton of blind boxes. Lots of Shin, lots of Whitey. The, a lot of the blind boxes are going to be like $14.90, $12.90. I love the little buildable ones too. Another Shin and Action Bastard. There's his pet Whitey. There's all his family members too. It's pretty cool. I actually like the Shin wallet in particular. It's very amusing. And lots more blind boxes, lots more figures. Um, and these tend to be like around like $9.95. I suspect these will also be the same price, like yeah, $5.95. So pretty consistent. Um, it's, if you're also a fan of Studio Ghibli, like I am personally, there's some cool like pen holders here. I suspect they're also gonna be maybe blind boxes. Um, if you like Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle, etc. So very nice section to look at. Um, if we go to the other side here, if you follow me. There's a lot more blind boxes here too. More like, you know, not so well-known franchises. Maybe some are. There's definitely some Sanrio uh, franchises as well. So if you know Kuromi, Hello Kitty, there's some nice bl blind boxes here too. And see, let's see that around $13.90 as well in terms of the price. So lots of variety. There's even cinnamon roll. So very cool to see. Very nice variety here provided. Also, what I like about stores like this, whenever you see blind boxes, they also show really cool um, display cases so you can actually see what the figures look like. You can see the sizes. And you know, they tend to be all very similarly priced too, depending on the size. So smaller ones will be like 9 dollars So at least you have a good variety of price ranges, which is really cool. But not just that, again, continuing on the Sanrio, there's also a whole shelf right here. Tons of plushies. There's even accessories like these. A nice little beaker you know, to hold your drink, that's pretty cool. This one's about, actually there's no price tag on this unfortunately. But other than that, lots of nice plushies as well. There's a lot here. If you actually want to come with me this way, if you're a BTS fan, <laughs> we have Jin here. I know, I know some Jin fans in the Pokemon community. Jungkook, they actually looks like this. This is very cool. I would like to know the price of this. I used, I'm a big army as well. Ooh, let me just take a look here, guys. Yep. $49.90, that is a price for this <laughs> figure. If you want to see other BTS merch, there's even blind bags too, BT21, that's very nice. More Sanrio blind bags. Here's Karomi, cinnamon roll. 
and we have more blind boxes over here. We have Tokidoki, if you're familiar with that, that's pretty cool. And then let's move on to more anime section. I know this is an anime store, but let's get onto the more um, nitty gritty stuff. So actually here, one of my personal favorites, we have Spy Family. I'm a big fan of Anya. There's a particular figure I'm looking for. I love this one. When, the one where she looks like a, like a detective. I think they might have just run out though, so that's a bit unfortunate. But these figures tend to be around $26.90 if I were to pick up one. So that's pretty cool. I do love good old Anya. She's very adorable. She loves peanuts. <laughs> okay, let's, let's continue though. On this side too, here's more blind boxes. Very nice. Oh, there's even one where she's a detective. Maybe I might pick up one of these. $13.90. So very good blind box to pick up. I'm actually going to pick up one. I love Anya. And if we move over here, there's a whole Dragon Ball section. So I used to watch Dragon Ball a lot, especially Dragon Ball Z as a kid. I love Shenron. Looks a lot like Rayquaza, but there's a lot of figures here. And then of course, we just looked at the One Piece section. We're going to skip over here to the Naruto section. Also a big fan of Naruto. We have a little Naruto uh, bank. We have a Sakura plush here. How much is she actually? She's $12.90. So if you want one of these plushies, they're on $12.90. There's candles. There's all these figures as well, which are pretty cool. This one is about $24.90 if, if you want to get a ballpark price. And not just that too, there's more figures. There's Kometsu no Yaiba, Demon Slayer, which is really cool. A lot of plushies, a lot of banks. So lots of variety of uh, anime merch, guys. Really cool to see. And now back here on the One Piece section, if you guys want to get more pricing on some of the merch here, the Luffy uh, plushies are on $17.90 from what I see. Very cool. There's a bigger version of Luffy here if you guys are a big fan of Luffy. This is around $27.90, so if you want to see the price right there. I see Brooke here, one of the straw hats, so that's pretty cool. $22.90, just giving you guys a little bit of pricing. Trafalgar Law, his iconic hat, about $20.90, also cool to find shanks here as well and then that's going to be about 2090. yes we also have some funko up here of naruto so again lots of figures etc let's move on back here actually if you're a jujutsu kaisi fan there's some merchandise here too very cool if you want to know the prices of some of the plushies 27.90 and then if you move over here we have a whole gundam section as well yeah and then my wife who's lots of gundam a lot of stores will have a lot of these in stock so that's pretty cool to see guys if you want to know some of the prices of the gundam it's around 39.90 so if you're into building these i personally always struggle with this it's just a lot of pieces to work with but if you're into this they have a whole gundam section as well now moving on to more figures i'm actually particularly eyeing this brand it's called q posket what's really cool about it they don't just feature one franchise or one anime there's even uh, k-pop characters here so we have um, rm from bts this figure is about $12.90. Not bad, honestly, for a figure this size. So that's pretty cool. There's other anime too, like Case Closed. So this is uh, Kid Thief. There's a, new, there's a new movie actually, or Detective Conan, if you guys wanted to know the um, Japanese translation. This is a bit more expensive though. It's $26.99. So that's very interesting considering it's a very similar size, just for comparison. Yeah, there's other characters as well. The ones up here are also $12.90, which is very nice. There's even Ultraman blind boxes, which is really cool. This is $9.95. So if you're into old school Ultraman, another cool item to look at. If you come down here too, there's more figures as well. Just want to give you guys more, you know, ballpark prices of things. There's more anime figures, $17.90 for this kind of size. So it really varies here in Akiba House. But yeah, moving on, I actually want to bring you guys back to the Pokemon section. I feel like it didn't go through prices enough. So um, there's really nice plushies here. So we have a little Lapras here. About $15.90 to give you guys a better idea of what to expect. I love this so much, by the way. of Sprigatito wallet. This is $23.90 just to give you guys an idea. There's even oh, there's even some sleeping plushies too. I really like this. We have Oshawott, Snoozy. I also like the texture of this. $17.90 for this one. And then we have some... These are bags, actually. So if you're wondering what are these in these little Pokeballs. They're featuring po uh, characters from Pokemon Horizons. About $15.95 for the bags. But also too, so I know I picked up a blind box, but I want to show you guys too. There's other figures. So this this brand is called Funism, one of my personal favorite brands. It's from Pokemon China, which is really cool. And I want to give you guys a better price. There's actually lots of different Pokemon. We have Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Snorlax, Togepi, Piplup, and Gengar. And it's going to cost around $13.90. Not too bad, honestly. You do have to build this yourself, it, it sounds like, because you can hear that in the back. And lots of different remit, which is really cool. I even spot an Espeon here, so that's really nice. And they're also nicely themed as well. So Riemann's a very popular figure brand in Japan if you're unfamiliar with Riemann. Around $13.90. Not bad considering how big this is. And also there's much more too. Um, there's, more fun, there's more funism, I believe, or other 
uh, figures from Pokemon China. If you're into Snorlax, shout out to all the Snorlax fans. This one is going to be around... Is there even a price on this one? Okay, no price on this one. But there's a lot of variety that you can pull from, so that's pretty cool. Also, massive Gengar bag. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I'd love to wear this, but I'm sure this is going to go over my budget. So I'm going to leave this here for now. Stick to my smaller Gengar bag. I like smaller bags anyway. But yeah, also too, one more thing, besides all the plushies and figures, there's even bath bombs. And these are also characters from Pokemon Horizons. We have, we have Cap, <laughs> or Captain Pikachu, we have Sprigatito. We have um, Chansey, uh, Quagsire, and also H Hatena. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm thinking about all the Japanese names because I've been watching the Japanese version. But yeah, also on top here, we have Alolan Pikachu uh, plushies for $24.90. Not too bad as well, considering the size. And if you're into Squishmallows, we have very squishy piplups here too, so that's pretty cool. I'm a little short, so I can't really see the price, but I like the fact that they have squishmallows. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Jay's a lot taller than me. He can definitely see more of it than I can. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the Pokemon section. So we kind of worked our way a bit backwards. We came from the back of the store to the front. If you guys are wondering what's at the front of Occupy House, lots more blind boxes. You may not, may or may not know some of these brands. Basically, um, a lot of these blind boxes will be around $15.99. We'll go through some of them so you have an idea of how much they cost. That's pretty funny. A cat on a motorcycle. If you guys just want random figures for fun for your desk, for your shelf, you know, entertain, like make your house a little bit more entertaining, this is a perfect place to look at stuff. So yeah, more blind boxes, yeah. Around the ballpark of $15.99, all similar sizes as well. Again, this is great to look at too, the displays on top. So you can kind of see what you're what, what you can possibly get and also you can see the quality and size of it so yeah, pretty much it for the blind boxes now i want to show you guys the more exciting part we have the trading card section it's at the very front of the store so if you guys want to follow me so of course you guys know the big pokemon fan we have a lot of pokemon packs at the front here for about 4.95 i will pick up a couple of these so i definitely want to get to a mask of change i'm still looking for that carmine um, there's also One Piece packs as well. We have Dragon Ball packs. And there's also Detective Conan packs, which is pretty cool. We have Yu-Gi-Oh! here. There's even English Pokemon products. We have the tins, I believe from Paldea Evolved, so that's pretty cool. And we even have Y Schwartz, also for $4.95. I'm actually curious to see how much the Conan packs are. This is a very popular in Japan, $5.95, so a dollar more, which is very interesting. There's even high class packs too. We have Shiny Treasure EX, uh, $11.90 per pack here at Akiba House. And also, if you want it, guys want to know the One Piece, not sure if they have the pricing, yeah, $5.95, so a dollar more than the Pokemon pack. So OP5 with Gear 5 Luffy. So I'll definitely pick up um, maybe a couple of these even. I really want to try my luck at um, pulling the Carmine. So there you go, guys, for the trading card section. All right, so I just came out of Akiba House with all my merch. Thank you so much to everyone again at Akiba House for the $100 budget, for all the wonderful accommodation. They're so friendly. And I was able to accomplish all my challenges. So I got a booster pack of uh, Mask of Change. I got a blind box, a Pokemon Remans uh, product. And also I managed to take a photo with the Naruto in the back. So that's pretty cool. Overall, I give this place a solid five out of five. There's a wide variety of products. I feel like I am in, in Akihabara pretty much. And also too, it's such a welcoming store. The ambiance is nice. The decor is amazing. Would I come back? Hell yeah. If you're an anime fan, please definitely check out Akiba House. You will not be disappointed. So we're here at our second location of uh, exploring anime shops in New York. This is called Project KE. So not only is it an anime shop, it's also part arcade, but we're just gonna check out the anime shop. It's particularly located on the bottom floor. And of course, we're gonna stick to our challenges. We're gonna look for a blind box, a booster pack, and take a photo with an anime statue or a cardboard cutout. So let's see what we can find. Now, if you go to the back of the bottom floor of Project KE, there's a whole Pokemon section here. We have some figures. So one of my favorites is Lugia. It's actually not a bad price, $10.99. You have to do build it yourself. I actually have one of these. Um, also another one of my favorites, we have Garchomp. So the prices will vary. This one's $16.99. Others will be $18, $17. But not just that, there's also plushies over here, if you follow me. So lots of older plushies that I haven't seen for a very long time. There's a Mudkip here, there's a Giratina. There's a Lugia, this one's $53.99, the Garatina $65, so yeah, the price really ranges on here. There's a Garchomp that's really cool. Also, too, they use a point exchange system, so if you win some plushies and you don't necessarily want to keep them, you can trade them out for points, and those points can be uh, redeemed to get these plushies as well, so that's pretty nice. There's other stuff here, that's, I see a Celebi here for $39.99, we have Chimchar for $34, so some starters. More legendary Pokemon like Raikou, $59.99, I even see Arceus down there as well. A lot of these are actually from the All-Stars collection an older release in japan so that's pretty cool but i definitely like the variety here 
Sadly, I won't be able to talk too much in Project KE since the copyrighted music is blasting. Japanese music companies are very strict with copyright laws and I'd like to keep my YouTube channel. So I'm heading downstairs to show you all the cool anime merchandise that can be purchased without the use of claw machines. But first, let's take a photo with this cool Goku statue. That's one challenge off my list. On the bottom floor, you'll be instantly immersed in a room full of anime figures, Gundam and waifu displays, and even a huge Luffy statue. You'll also find products from various franchises like One Piece, Ashley, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Sanrio, and much more. But before we head out, I need to stop by the front cashier at the entrance of Project KE since that's where they keep all the mystery boxes and booster packs. I still have some challenges to complete after all. Here you'll find a wide variety of anime booster boxes such as Kirby, Shin-chan, One Piece, and of course Pokemon. I made sure to buy an evolution themed mystery box, hoping to pull either an Espeon, Umbreon, or Vaporeon themed figure. I also purchased a booster pack of One Piece Memorial Collection. If you want to see what's inside, be sure to stick around until the end of the video. So that's it for my visit at Project KE. I apologize if it's a little bit short. There was a lot of copyright music playing, especially from Japan. You know, I do not want to get a copyright strike, especially when it's just music playing in the background that shouldn't be on YouTube. But overall, I give this place a nice five out of five. The staff was very welcoming when I came in. Lots of anime statues to take photos with, so I definitely completed that challenge. Lots of nice blind boxes. Definitely a good uh, selection of Pokemon packs as well, and lots of anime figures, good variety, and also everything quite organized too. So, solid place to visit if you're looking for anime figures, packs, or any blind boxes. Thankfully, the sponsor of this video, Tokyo Treat, supplied me with a bunch of delicious snacks from Japan. If you don't know Tokyo Treat, it's a monthly Japanese snack box that provides up to 20 exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal snacks and drinks that are only available in Japan. This month's theme is Tokyo Snackation, meaning that the snacks will be inspired by Japan's capital city, Tokyo. Many trendy treats, both savory and sweet, are included in the snack box. This booklet even provides brief descriptions of all the snacks included, along with food allergen information. Let's try some of these treats before visiting the next door. Now let's get into opening this lovely Tokyo treat box. Bright and orange. It even says here, itadakimasu. Thanks for the food. I'm gonna start first with this amazing chocolate, I think marshmallow. It features a lovely Eevee on it. Oh, there's a, there's a Kabi gun or Snorlax on it. That's pretty cool. Nice detailing there, so. Mm. That's why they call it a chocolate marshmallow. It's chocolate on the inside. I haven't seen anything like this before. There's a little chocolate cookie snack here featuring Karomi, so very nice. So very small, very nice sized cookie. So if you're traveling, this is good to keep in your bag. Mmm, very crispy. Now this one I'm looking forward to. It's like a little doriyaki or like a little pancake with banana filling. Well, it has cat paw prints, like look at that. So basically like two pancakes put together and then you have some sort of banana filling. So very delicious, very light, not too sweet. That's usually a good indicator for me specifically. And I love the little paw print touch. So very nice. I'm gonna skip on to a bigger snack because we've done a lot of the smaller snacks. I'm excited for this. So it's, it's a bit of an over stereotypified British looking snack, even though this is from Japan. We have the milk tea Kit Kat. I love the wild flavors we get from Japan when it comes to Kit Kat. So they come individually packed, which is quite nice. Here's some specs. Not too sweet, very milky. Definitely very nice. Kind of a white chocolate base with a little hint of tea. Now this is very interesting. We have some chips here. Some sour plum chips. Definitely something very related to Japan. Nothing you'd find here in the United States. Oh, yes. <laughs> that plum flavor definitely packs a punch as soon as you bite into the crisp. Now, I don't know if you guys have had melon cream soda, but this is personally one of my favorite flavors, especially from Japan. Mm. Oh, it's so smooth, so creamy. Has that nice melon flavor as well. Definitely great for the summer times. Now, this is a biggie. We got a peach tart. Let's open it up. There's literally like hexagon shaped little pies, and I guess the peach is gonna be inside. If you love peach, this is the snack for you. Very conveniently shaped and conveniently sized. A little bit crummy, as you can see but definitely delicious. Tastes like natural peach too. So thank you so much Tokyo Treat for all these wonderful snacks. If you're just getting into trying Japanese snacks for the first time, this is definitely a great place to start. Be sure to use code CRYSTAL for $5 off your first order and I hope you guys like it. So after having a few snacks, I'm feeling quite refreshed. Um, we're now at our third location on this journey. It's called Excellent Anime Figure and Gundam. I'll admit, it was really easy to miss at first. You do have to go in through a, a long hallway and this store has three parts. So we're gonna start with the top floor and make our way down into the two separate sections and you'll see, you'll see what I mean. So let's head over now. Okay, so now we're here at our first spot. 
of excellent anime figure and Gundam. They have uh, mainly figures on this part, so we'll take a look and then we'll make our way downstairs. There's a lot more stuff downstairs, I'd say, but this is a good start, so let's get going. Okay, so we're at the top floor of Excellent. Like I said before, there's a lot of figures, so if you're into all the figures, this is definitely a good place to start. So let's walk on over here. The first thing that catches my eye, of course, we see Naruto, we see um, Chi Chi, or no, Bulma, sorry, from Dragon Ball. We have here Monkey D. Luffy Gear 5 version. This is a really epic figure. This is 160. I don't know how much it is out of the places, that, that doesn't sound bad to me, in my opinion. We also have more One Piece figures here. Here's uh, Luffy, here's uh, Ace. Oh, we even have Kaido here. That's an impressive figure. If I can get a price on that, that'd be great. So some of them, it's a little visible. The Ace here in particular is $55, if you were curious. Um, there's more items here. Let's see. Oh, we have Kakashi Sensei. Very nice. This is $65 for something this size. Not bad. It also has that cool, like, painting shading technique I really like. Oh, here's a Nami figure. That's very nice. Oh, at a whopping $155. That is quite a lot, but it's a Nami figure. Waifu. <laughs> We have more here. We have a Sasuke. We have, uh, uh, Sa sorry, Sasuke. We have um, Kakashi once more. More figures as well. This is a very big Digimon uh, figure. Holy cow, if I can even see that. It is $310, so that's good to know. <laughs> we have Angemon here. Oh, let's, let's take a look at this really cool Naruto figure here as well. Very nice. I like the display. It even says, believe, believe it. <laughs> <laughs> and there's even a signature. Oh, it's signed. This one isn't signed, but this one is. That's extra special. That's probably going to cost a bit more. I wish, I wish I was a bit taller to see it. If you guys want to see more cool figures here, we have some One Piece. Also, Pokemon. as a Pokemon channel. I should definitely <laughs> highlight these. It's very nice. We have, again, more Funism. We did see some products from Funism at Akiba House, but we have them here too. So these are 20 per piece. We have a lovely Lucario. We have Pikachu, Gengar, lots of fan favorites. I love the Mew one, actually. I love the detailing with the bubbles. That's pretty cool. And also there's other Funism figures too. Very similar to the ones we've seen before. Here's a Pikachu. There's a Gengar, Jay's favorite. And also too, this one reminds me of Shining Together. It has both the Slowpoke and the Psyduck. I can get pricing on this. Oh, they're 50 per piece. So these are probably bigger. I don't think these you assemble like the other ones at um, Akiba, so these are like bigger versions. Good for the shelf. Oh, there's some Sailor Moon. Honestly, Sailor Moon was one of my favorite anime when I was a kid. I love the transformation and all the planets, <laughs> so that was really cool. Um, there's plenty more here, lots of Gundam, there's more Pokemon. I see my homeboy, Rayquaza, down here. Here's a, a slow poke you can assemble. It's $10, not bad. A great um, one on a budget. Lots more Gundam, there's interesting other figures, and yeah, let's, let's keep moving on, honestly. There's a lot to look at. This is just one part over the three parts, remember. We have uh, Inuyasha here, so a nice variety of Street Fighter. We have Shanks from One Piece, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we have. This is Jojo, so if you're a fan of the Jojo anime franchise, very cool Kakashi figure. Holy crap, it's $329. <laughs> so yes, some of them are on the pricey side. Oh, Bleach, Toshiro Hitsugaya, one of the cooler characters from Bleach. I love his ice dragon sword. And also Ichigo Kurosaki, the classic character of Bleach. I used to watch Bleach a lot when I was a teenager. <laughs> um, Let's see what else they have here. More Gundam, you know, lots of classic anime. And yeah, we're getting a bit repetitive, so why don't we go downstairs at this time? Okay, so this is the downstairs portion of Excellent, part one of two. There's another section too, but we'll get to it later. I like this section in particular because there's a lot of an oh, sorry, Pokemon figures. So let's take a look here. Well, these are from Japan, so they vary in price from $10. So I believe 25 so it's cool Lucario here. They have my homeboy Rayquaza. I believe it's 24 though, and I think the size of the figure is like half the size. It's tiny, <laughs> so it's a lot for 24 but hey, I like the display. It's pretty cool. There's also more blind boxes up here. I love these figures, these Evolution figures. They're about 18 here. And there's also a different Evolution figure. It has a kind of a stand. These are from China, by the way. And this is also 18. But yeah, not just that, not just Pokemon, there's other anime as well. Like, there's also Remint down here, if you guys were interested. And there's even villain costume figures here, which is actually pretty cool. We have Team Flare Pikachu. It's also $10, so not too bad. This reminds me of the Team Skull Pikachu box. <laughs> very, very heavily. Okay, now moving on here. If you're a fan of One Piece, a lot of blind boxes here too. I'm actually going to get one of these for our blind box challenge. It's only $10. And you can get really cool keychains. So here are the possibilities. I'm aiming for that Zoro. But I think there's also a Chase Chopper. It's obvious that's Chopper. They make it a mystery, but we know who it is. So I'm put this in the basket, which you can also get from the front. Very nice. 
Also, they have random like Lilo and Stitch blind boxes. They have Shin Chan. Let's take a look at the prices here. A lot of the, a lot of them are like ten, twelve dollars. Some are eighteen if they're a little bit more detailed. So yeah, like nice variation of prices here. Um, oh, look at that. There's even Digimon blind boxes. These are really cute. Shout out to all the Digimon fans. Uh, there's they're fifteen dollars that one. This one is also fifteen. Okay, so some consistency there. There's Kirby as well. I like these swing uh, blind box collections. This is uh, eighteen dollars for that Kirby. Um, there's another one here for twelve, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, another blind box because you have different options that you can pull. It's like a booster pack, but for a figure, so that's pretty cool. Um, moving on, yes, yeah, so as you can see, guys, it's endless. There's just so much going on. A lot more Japanese. There's some Hatsune Miku merch if you're a fan. Fifteen dollars for this blind box. It's like a whole shelf of blind boxes. We even have Doraemon with other franchises, other vague franchises, other well-known ones. Let's move on here. Some handsome men behind me, <laughs> little statues, or you know, cardboard cutouts. And we have some plushies. A lot of cats over here, especially my favorite green cat, Niaoha or Spurgatito. Very cute. This one's twenty-seven though. That's a, <laughs> it's quite a price. There's also a Flareon, which is really cool. But uh, moving on. There's a lot of um, gum cards here, if you look to my right, from a lot of different- and we have Attack on Titan, we have one piece as well. These are around like $4 per piece, so that's pretty nice. Let's move on though. So this is a very overwhelming wall of <laughs> blind bags, um, bags in general, packs of stuff, pins, you know, like everything's randomized, so it's- everything you open is gonna be, you know, you could pull one of possible, like, I don't know, six, ten, different things, you have badges, you have keychains. It just feels like you're in Japan, especially like Akihabara. I'm very surprised too, they even have Detective Conan or Case Closed merchandise here. And also not just that, there's also booster packs. We do have that challenge to accomplish, so I will pick a random booster pack. Let's go with Violet, let's try to pull that Miriam. I, li I like Maraidon quite a bit. And these are um, about six per pack, but for the sake of this video, I'll get one. Um, and there's other um, franchises too, there's a lot of Y Schwartz, there's one piece up there too, we have Memorial Collection, I'm happy they have Mashley too. Some of these are gum cards, they're not all trading card games, just keep that in mind. Um, I see a random Kirby little pack here, so yeah, lots of di random different things. Um, that looks like Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, a lot of different things, there's keychains down here too. And if you like stationery, or if you're a fan of Sanrio, there's pens here, this is really cute. The cinnamon roll one is very adorable. Nice clicky pens. And um, they even have more blind boxes. Oh my gosh, they really have a lot of these swing collection boxes. $15, not too bad, especially these are the possible uh, figures you can get. And oh, there's a lot of Haikyuu merch. Again, it's really popular now in Japan, especially with the release of the movie, um, Battle of the Junkyard. And lots of Hatsune Miku stuff here if you're into Vocaloid. Um, there's some packs here, probably just like, you know, gum cards. There's some cords, a lot of accessories. Yeah, that's your lot for this part of Excellent. So let's move on to the second section. So this is the third and final section of Excellent Anime Figure slash Gundam. Lots of figures in this particular section. Kind of like upstairs, but more variety down here for sure. Lots of Hatsune Miku, lots of Pokemon even. Um, lots of um, Digimon I've seen. A lot of old anime too, like um, Yu Yu Hakusho. I've seen Bleach. I've seen One Piece. Lots of fa fan favorites down here. Um, they're all stuffed on shelves, even some Funko, which is pretty cool. Um, and a lot of the anime figures are also on display at the front. I'm just filming back here because it's a lot quieter. Lots of copyright music at the front, we don't want anything to do with that. But yes, lots of very impressive figures that are huge too, all different sizes. If you're a big figure collector, I highly recommend this place. Alright guys, so we just finished our experience at the third location, excellent anime figure and Gundam. Overall, really cool experience. I'd say they did an egg-cylin job with the selection of figures. If you're um, into any specific anime, it's very niche friendly. A lot of selection for each individual anime, like if it's Naruto, if it's Pokemon, One Piece, etc. They gave me this really cool bag too. The staff are really friendly overall. And I did meet my challenges. So I was able to get a One Piece blind box, hopefully a Pol Zoro. And I got a pack of uh, Violet EX, throwback to early Scarlet and Violet era. And I did take a photo with a Carbo cutout. No, no statue overall, so I'm going to give this place an overall 4 out of 5. Only because it was very hard to find in the beginning, I'll admit. It's on a very random street here in Queens, New York. Um, if it weren't for the yellow sign, it would have taken me a lot longer to even find. 
Um, also, too, the fact that it's split into three parts in a mini mall, it would ease. It's easy to assume that one part might be a different store. I think it would be better if it was all together in one place. It would be a lot less confusing. I just, I just said they need to work on the advertising a little bit better. But overall, very fun experience. If you're a big anime fan, I definitely still recommend coming here to excellent anime figure and Gundam. All right, so we're at our final destination, Tesso X. So it's part arcade part anime figure store. As you can see from the window, there's a lot of figures on display. I'm already really excited. I love the neon lights, I have to say. Um, so we're going to look again for our blind box. Hopefully a Pokemon booster pack. I can't guarantee there'll be one in here. And also take a photo with a figure, anime figure. I'm sure we won't have a hard time at a place like this. So let's head on inside. Just like Project KE and some parts of Exilinet, I couldn't film and talk much since Katy Perry and Taylor Swift were blasting in the background throughout my visit at Tesso X. But just like Project KE, Tesso X is both an arcade and an anime merch shop. Check out this giant Gengar plush, for example. No, I'm not going to try winning it today, unfortunately. In terms of the actual anime merchandise, there are a lot of cool displays, like this Astro Boy block figure, which Tesso X does sell, some bear bricks, this flower castle thing, and a huge Gundam statue. Let's take a photo with that for one of our challenges while we're here. Speaking of Gundam, Tesso X literally has a whole wall of Gundam figures. I wish I had the patience to actually build one. Tesso X have other brands of buildable figures too, like this Doraemon Keepley, a whole variety of Pokemon Bandai model kits, and some buildable Popeye figures because that's a great anime, right? Other than that, there's a diverse selection of anime figures including Dragon Ball, One Piece, Funko, and also Marvel, even though that's not technically anime. Heck, there's even an Iron Man statue here. Also, check out this awesome Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon figure. Maybe I'll pick it up one day. Like in most anime shops, however, we still have the, you know, sus waifu figures. These are somewhat sus, but not sus enough. Tesso also has a ton of blind or mystery boxes, almost too many in my opinion, although the selection is quite amusing. What really caught my eye though was this series of Tom and Jerry blind boxes. It's not an anime, but it's something I'd like to open one day, literally was my childhood. Also, I really love this Case Closed or Detective Conan um, blind box set. There are so many different possible types to pull, so I may not get my chase. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to open a bunch of these in a future YouTube video. Also, do I need a tiny One Piece figure chilling on my cup? It might be a swallowing hazard, but the idea is really cute. Oh, and this Nyaruto box has to be a must, definitely. Seriously, let me know if you'd be interested in an assorted blind box opening. But despite how many awesome, you know, brands of mystery boxes there were in Tesso X, I ended up choosing the Doraemon one by 52 Toys. I'm very impressed with the quality of this brand. I'll explain more during the unboxing at the end of this video, so stick around. Sadly, Tesso X does not sell any booster packs, at least when I visited, so I couldn't complete all three challenges in the store. But at least Tesso X had a lot of different statues to take pictures with, like this grumpy thing. All right, so I just stepped out of, my, of our final location, Tesso X, the last destination. Um, overall, I definitely like the ambiance. Very nice lighting, very nice, you know, selection of everything. Also, cool displays of the figures um, throughout the whole store. However, um, I also couldn't really talk much inside. It was a little hard to film with all the copyright music. I'm not going to dock them for that, though. Um, I know they want to keep the place upbeat and on theme. It was a little bit awkward talking to the staff, though. Um, I asked them if I could film. One of them just kind of like didn't understand what I was saying and someone else kind of laughed at me. So like, okay, I guess it's fine to film in there. But um, overall still, you know, a fun place to visit. Good variety of uh, blind boxes. Was able to pick up a Doraemon one. Unfortunately, no Pokemon pack, so I couldn't complete that challenge, but I was able to take a photo with a Gundam figure at least. So that's pretty cool. Oh, guys, okay, now we're back at the studio. That was quite a day visiting four different anime stores throughout New York. I'm excited to show you guys what I picked up today and also opening some of the mystery boxes and packs as per my challenges from visiting all of these anime stores. So we're gonna start out with what we picked up from Akiba House. Again, thank you so much, Hao, the manager of Akiba House, for the $100 credit. We got a lot of wonderful things. I'll start out with the easy things. We have here Pochita, again, such a cute little plushie from Chainsaw Man. It is a little chainsaw itself, so that's really adorable. I wanted to pick it up. Again, I have watched Chainsaw Man a few episodes, but I'm a big fan of Pochita. It's a nice little keychain if you guys didn't know. So you can attach this to a bag, backpack, whatever you have. Good for travel. So that's a little Pochita. I'll put it over here next to my little Leafeon. Another nice plush that I picked up actually was from One Piece. One of my favorite characters, if you didn't, if you didn't know. We have Zoro. I love his green hair. If you guys didn't know, I love the green. Just showing you guys the detailing. He has his three swords because of his three sword style fighting. And yes, you can actually hang this. I like plushies like this. You can dangle it. Maybe you have like a, I don't know, a little pin somewhere. You can hang it on your wall or you know something that has a little extension where you can just hang it a little decoration so that's really nice little one piece tag here too so Zoro or Joro in Korean I'll put him down there 
And also, one thing I really wanted for quite some time, this amazing Gengar bag. So it's quite interesting. It doubles up to where you can actually attach it to your belt, which is really nice. So it, you can also hook the little strap. It's actually in its mouth. I'm actually going to take it out so you guys can see too. And it's also from China. It's not from AliExpress. It is an officially licensed product. You can see the little hollow foil there. They have these on the Chinese Pokemon products as well. Simplify Chinese specifically. You can stick stuff inside. You can probably see my fingers there too. So but I know you could put pins little accessories, I don't know, little tokens, gaming card, whatever you want. So a really cool accessory. Worth the $15.90 in my opinion, especially when you can use it for multiple different things. And also too, let's not stop there, we have our mystery boxes. So one of the challenges I had to emphasize for each store that I visit was get at least one mystery box, whether it's Pokemon related or not. I do like Spy Family, Anya is very adorable. And here are the possible, actually yeah, there's, there's here are the possible things that you can pull. I think there's four different Anyas. My chase is the detective looking one. So let's hopefully pull that. So we simply just literally rip this open. Again, thank you Hal so much for all this. I'm really excited to see what we can possibly get. Amazing store, amazing ambience, amazing staff. They really take good care of you. If you ever stop by and see how, be sure to say hi for me. But yeah, so we have nice foam, well protected. That's very nice little piece of tape. So let's see what we get. And is it my chase? It is not my chase. It's the sleeping looking one. Let's take her out of the bag so I can show you guys better spec. It's okay. It's still Anya. And it's no problem here. She looks very shocked. I like her expressions. They're very exaggerated. So a little piece of foam there to protect her from the dog behind. So here you guys, some specs of Anya and her PJs. It's jammy time. Not my choice, but it's totally fine. And I'm not stopping there, guys. I have another mystery box. We have Rement. So this is a very um, popular um, figure company for Pokemon. They've collaborated with them and also other franchises as well, but they've been around for quite some time. They also made those like little clear Pokeballs. Sometimes you see little Pokemon displays inside. That's how I found Riemann in the first place. I thought that was really cool. You see the Pokemon inside the Pokeballs, but this one is the Gemstone Collection. So I like crystal crystallized things and I felt like I just had one for, I, ne I needed one for my collection. My chase is actually the Dragonair right over here on the side so here are the possible ones that you can pull i didn't get to peek yet so i don't know what i got but doo -doo -doo -doo. it's not my chase but that's pretty cool we got a sable eye okay and i'll just show you guys some footage okay i actually managed to put them securely in one spot here you go before i drop it this is not secure whatsoever but we made it work this is what it should look like on the desk so very nice blind box thank you again Akiba House, and we have our first treatment on Crystal Collects' YouTube. Now on to the pack. So as you guys know, my other challenge was to also get a booster pack. So I had to get Mask of Change. I know it's not everyone's favorite, but it's green. Ogre Pond's on it. I still haven't pulled any of my chases. I'm looking for the Kirin or the Carmine SAR. If not, Ogre Pond's great too, but I really like those trainer SAR. So we got five cards per pack and let's see what we get. Let's actually put one to the front like the usual card trick. Okay, so we got here. That is, um, <laughs> I actually had this Pokemon in my party of Kilowattril. The name nearly left my brain here. <laughs> All right, Sandshrew. We have here, that's the Sandcastle. Oh, very nice. So that's Blissey EX. Okay, so not the SIR, but at least we got an EX card. I will not complain. And a little Dreepy there. That's very nice. Okay, so something. Again, thank you so much, Akiba House. Now moving on to the second store that we visited today in New York. We actually went to Project KE. So again, part arcade, part anime figure shop. I actually did buy myself a figure out of my own judgment just because, you know, I, I've been actually wanting this for quite a while. If you don't know Shin-chan, this is his dog. His name is Whitey, also Shiro in Japanese. So let's open this up. I do want to see. Actually, it's interesting too because on the box, there's two different possibilities. One where uh, Shiro is awake or asleep. On the front, it does show him asleep. So I hope I got the asleep one. I'm not sure if this is a mystery box necessarily or if it really is what it shows. Got the success. It's okay. I got it, guys. We got it successfully open. Now let's see what we got. I hope it's the sleeping one. It's the sleeping one. Okay, cool. Very nice. So he's trapped in this little cardboard prison. Let's get him out. It looks very convoluted, but all we got to do is just bend this little thing out. Oh, wait a second. This is a flocked figure. It's like a little bit fuzzy. It's really cool. <laughs> Look at that. He's all sleepy. This is such a nice little desk accessory. 
Oh, very nice. Very happy about that. But yeah, it's just, it's like the size of the palm of my hand, which is very small, by the way. Some people get confused that the Pokemon cards I'm holding are jumbo. But yes, this is the size of it. It's it's like a little bun. It's like a little pork bun. <laughs> it's a really cute um, figure of Shido, again from Project KE. Awesome place for figures. Um, I also got this amazing blind box. So, you know, one of the challenges was to get a blind box. It is Pokemon related this time. This is one of my favorite figure companies. It's definitely better than Remint. The figures are a bit bigger. I'll do a size comparison. You can tell too by the quality. If this is really from AliExpress, the quality will be shit. Let's be real here. But, oh my, okay, you know what? It, it's, it's unfortunately a duplicate, but at least you guys get to see the detailing. Oh, what are the chances? There's nine different possible evolutions. All right, so that's it for the blind box. Unfortunately, duplicate, but it's still really cool to see in person. I won't complain. I do love the funness and figures. And onto the booster pack that we did manage to pick up too from Project KE. So we have the Memorial Collection in Japanese for One Piece. Um, EB01. It almost looks like Pokikyun, you know, what we had in Pokemon. Of course, very different. Let's hopefully pull that manga rare of Chopper. I'm not expecting it. We know it's very rare. So we're just gonna go straight to this. So let's see what we get at the very back. Very nice thick cards. Again, this is Cardass, very different from the Korean version, which hasn't, this hasn't come out yet in Korean. It's still very behind. And we got here, oh, a leader card, very nice. And then ending, oh, not with a Dawn card. It's actually a, a rare. Oh, that's very different. Whenever, when I opened Romance Dawn in Korean, every pack had a Dawn card. So very interesting that it doesn't have that. Very nice rare though. I like the hollow foil quite a bit. Now let's move on to the third store that we visited today and that is egg Excellent anime figure i got a couple of things from there of course my mystery box um, we have one piece once again this is a cool keychain there's uh, six different possible uh, keychains that you can pull the mystery one being chopper it's not really a mystery you can tell by the silhouette there but i hope to pull the zoro but honestly i'd be happy to pull any of these anyone from the straw hat crew it's really nice i wear a bag all the time so having a little keychain would look really cool Okay, let's open this up. For $10, also a good price in my opinion. Okay, so we got... Oh, oh, we got Sanji. And don't go anywhere yet. We still have our booster pack that I was able to pick up too from Excellent, the anime figure. Also, excellent team. Very nice people to work with and also talk to. I got my Violet EX booster pack in Japanese. They have a wide variety of both Japanese and also English packs, by the way, so that's pretty cool to see. Five cards per pack, not a special set or anything like that. So one to the front. Will I pull the Miriam? Probably not, but we're doing this for fun anyway. I'm a Pokemon card featured channel, so the least I could do is at least include some Pokemon packs in this as well. And it's also fun. Okay, ending with a rare candy, so nothing there. At least we got an EX in the other pack from before. All right, guys, so now moving on to our final location. This is Tesso X. Unfortunately, we did not complete all of our challenges. I did manage to get a mystery box, no Pokemon packs, unfortunately, but I have to I have a lot to say about this company. So this is a, this is a Doraemon um, mystery box made by 52 toys my god they are gods at making figures if you ever touch a box made by 52 toys they do such a great job with the packaging like this is even textured but not just that the actual figures themselves i believe that this one has like nine different possible um figures that you can pull if you could if you know anything about doramon he's known for all his very useful gadgets that um nobita or nobi the main character you know he needs his help all the time he's just living life figuring things out the little gadgets help him get through things so there's lots of little different gadgets that uh, Jeremon has, but the actual quality of the figures is incredible. So I had to pick up one of these, even for Shin-chan, they do a great job. 52 toys, eventually, please collaborate with Pokemon. I do want to see how you would make figures for them. Riemann's great, but this is a step up. So let's see what we get. Okay, I got a little stand here. I got a little bucket of paint. That's very cute. I'm guessing that's the gravity paint. Yeah, so if, if I didn't pull anything from that I can see here, it would be considered the secret. But it's, I can definitely identify one of these from the selection there. And we have a little tag. Okay, that's very cool, interesting. So let's open this bag and see what we get. It's probably Doraemon. <laughs> Everything's Doraemon. So that's the nice thing about these mystery boxes when it's just one character. Okay, so you guys can actually see the specs and actually appreciate this. Like, check that out. Like, the actual quality of this. Like, there's no flaws. Everything's just so smooth. 
not too much gloss. I just, I think the quality of this is really nice. It even has some weight to it. The pieces stick together really well. It's very firmly, you know, put together. Very nice display. I have to say for $15, which is approximately what I paid for this figure from Tesso X, it's definitely worth the money. Great for dust display. You know, if you're a fan of Doraemon, it's definitely a, um, a required pickup in my opinion. I just feel like if you love the franchise, this is a great way of showing appreciation for it. And also if you compare it to the size of like a Rayman figure, it's a bit bigger, but not just that, the actual quality of the plastic or whatever material that they've used, it just feels a lot more premium, especially in terms of weight. The Doraemon figure has a lot more weight to it versus the Remint figure. I just feel like Pokemon has more potential if they actually worked with 52 toys at some point, especially now we see improvement in the figures with Funism from mainland China. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. Got to open everything, show you guys what I picked up. I hope you enjoyed pretty much a little tour of all the anime stores in New York City. Please comment below if you would visit any of them and also which one is your favorite. My personal favorite has to definitely be Akiba House. They were so accommodating. The ambience was great. You feel like you're in Japan and the selection is fantastic. So definitely let me know what you think if you visit New York City. And also, if you want a part two to this series, there's definitely way more anime stores that I have not visited. And if you have any recommendations, be sure to let me know in the comments below as well. It's been Crystal Collects. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, guys.